Hi, good afternoon, and welcome to video number 11 from Fox Triple Eight. Okay, so now continuing on, like I said, changing the controls of, of the ship. You just go ahead, click on the ship, and click on the move script that I just added. Now, just in case you're trying to figure out or learn how to do the whole thing about how I got transformed, like here it has a component transform, and then I did dot to get one of the other settings that it has, same thing for the rigid body, you can always click on help and unity API reference and actually just type the name of it and it will actually show you how to get to the rest of the commands. So you can just go ahead and here and say rigid body click on the first one and then you can get the velocity and this at force and at torque so like we said before, since we're working with rigid bodies, we're actually going to be using the at force and at torque. For shooting bullets, we're doing velocity. Yeah, so there's different types of movements. We got rigid body, we got character controllers, and then we just regular translating. Now continuing on, on the move script, where it says, on the, at the bottom, all the way to the bottom, on the bullet script, instead of saying jump, we're going to make a switch to left click. Since it's going to be whatever the mouse points at. So if input dot mouse button down. Now if you put the number zero, it stands for the left click. Put number one, it stands for the right click. Number two, for the middle click. And then any other number after two, which will be middle click, it'll be if your mouse has any more buttons. Like my buttons, ha my mouse, for example, has about five buttons. <laughs> A little crazy, yeah. I can save that. Then go ahead and test it out real quick. And then just press left click. So in my case it's shooting. And yes, I didn't forget about the whole deleting the bullets. And then in here, uh, all these movements, the one the only one we want to keep is the one if input that get access vertical if it's more than 0 0.02. So pretty much if it's a positive number, meaning W to go forward. So for the rest of them, we won't be able to go backwards. It's going to be kind of hard, especially if it is whatever the ship is looking at, pretty much looking at the mouse. So this is what we need for now. The first variable I want to set in here on top is going to be, let's see, let's make it a uh, private target, excuse me, private transform, and we're going to name it target. So the way it works, I'm actually going to make it so the camera uses a ray cast. It shoots an imaginary ray towards the screen, I mean towards the, down towards the game. And whatever the camera, the, whatever that ray hit is going to instantiate an object. And the ship is going to look for that object and look at that. So pretty much whatever the mouse is pointing at is where that object is going to be. So private transform target. And then for now this is set for this. Now in order to set up what we're going to shoot, we've got first we need to make the prefab. So go ahead, click on prefabs, right click, create prefab, and then I'm gonna name it pointer. Now sometimes when you're doing tutorials, yes, there are times you'll be able to understand everything. And there are times you pretty much end up copy and pasting. Uh, this is it's just the way it is. You won't be able to understand everything right away. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and go to Game Object, Create Other, and Create a Sphere. Go ahead and make the Y zero. And then I can just go like this. Kind of see what's the size on it. So in this case, I want it a bit more bigger so I'm able to see it. And it's going to make sense in a second. So first thing you want to do is the spherical area that he has. Uh, yeah, just make it a trigger. Make sure it's a trigger. Another thing we're going to do is going to be making a tag for it too. Before that, click on game object, create other, and we're going to create a plane this time. And then make it a little bit bigger. 
So now I'm going to click on my sphere, press F to frame on it, and I click on my plane, go to game object, move to view. So pretty much this is going to be where a crosser is going to be at. That's what it's pretty much for. So I'll go ahead and go to GUI stuff, which is on the main project. Hopefully in the first video you did import the crosser. And there's the crosser now. Now if I go on the right side, make I click on the plane, instead of diffuse, you can do R1, you can uh, there's the one that's called particles. Uh the one I did is that bump diffuse I believe. Yep, there it is. And you can actually see it more clear. You can go ahead and scale your plane to whatever size you need it to. Unless you're happy with this, like if you hit play, you know, see if the size is going to be good enough or whatnot. So, so once you did that, now you can actually parent this plane to that sphere. The sphere is called a pointer. It doesn't, it won't matter right now. And then you can actually turn off the mesh render on that pointer, so it only shows the plane. Make sure you click down the hierarchy, and on the plane you want to turn off the mesh collider. Don't turn off the mesh render, or else we won't be able to see our crosser. Uh, if you want to do a bump, you can always do duplicate it. I uh, just take Control D, uh, excuse me, Control D, and then go ahead and click on plane again. Click it right here, and then fix now, and then now I have some bump to make it a little bit more cooler. Uh, I don't see much of a difference. Anyhow, continuing on. Now, what we need to do is we need to make this a, a new tag. So, if you click on your game object where it says tag, you just click on add tag. Tags are pretty useful. Uh, go ahead where it says element one and just name it pointer. Now, just remember, uh, make sure you actually get the spelling right. It doesn't matter if you have it here lowercase, on the script it has to be lowercase. And then now click on my pointer and then make sure my tag is actually set to pointer. Now you'll have a nice thing. 